smooth theme song on the surface, but if you scratch a little, there's a little bit of a father-son thing there. You may have noticed, uh, speaking of fathers and sons, my father bought this guitar in 1965 when I was a band. Hell yeah! That's And uh, so I imagine it must have been the first guitar I ever heard. Uh, and I do remember him playing around the house. He didn't play professionally, he just played at parties and around the house for fun. But I remember he played this one for me and my little brothers when I was about five. Well, my bucket's got a hole in it. Yeah, my bucket's got a hole in it. Yeah, my bucket's got a hole in it. I can't buy no beer. I went up to the house. Remember the rest of it? Yeah, that was my favorite when I was five. Yeah, my dad did learn Puff the Magic Dragon for us. It wasn't all inappropriate honky tonk songs, but it instilled the love of Hank Williams in me and a love of guitar and music. Uh, my mom did too, she had a great record collection too. Anyway, uh, when I was about 25, I was playing in a band and we had drums and so I was playing hard and I was breaking strings and I needed a spare guitar. So I asked my dad if I could borrow the old Gibson. He had another, he had a, by that time he had a Martin too. And I liked the Gibson better because I remembered it from my childhood. And he let me take it and uh, I started playing it and it soon became apparent that this guitar is way better than my old guitar. So I started to devise a system or a, a scheme but whereby my dad would forget that he loaned me his Gibson. Uh, so I wrote a song in his honor. And you know, a song can be a very powerful thing. You guys are into the singer-songwriter thing, you guys know. I mean, it's just it's it's amazing how much power how much power a song has. You know, the, the legendary folk singer Ledbelly was in prison in Louisiana on a murder charge. And he wrote a, a song to the warden asking him to be released, and he got released. Wow. It really happened. Look, look it up. That's, that's, music, that's folk music history, man. Yeah. So I wrote a song for my dad, and he saw me play it in a bar back in 1989, and he never asked for the guitar back. <laughs> now I'm plugs. You can hear just what my little four-year-old ears are almost 50 years ago. Look out. Oh, yeah. Well, I know I like to play guitar Riding around the country from bar to bar I'm still living the dream that I always had Yes, I must have got it from my dad You see, my daddy bought a Gibson I was one year old Thank you. 